All right, everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Today, we're going to hopefully beat the game. Probably not in this video, because it's still going to take a little bit, but by the end of the session, we'll probably be done. I don't know really what I need to do. I need to do this trophy thing and then do the, like, liquid puzzle, which is going to be a pain in the ass, and I'm probably going to edit some of it out, because I hate, 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 hate the uh, B scenario liquid puzzle, or hardcore. I don't know what affects it. I think it's just B scenario instead of what difficulty you're on, but I could be wrong. But I don't have high hopes for me on that one. So let's head on over. Actually, before I head on over and forget, we need to do the trophy. We're going to do the trophy that's in our inventory. Here we go. All right, so it's two, zero, four, something. All right, two, zero, four. What was the other one? It was like, was it that? Probably not it. Oh, that was it. Okay. The drug testing lab. Let's go test some drugs. Hell yeah. Let's go, guys. Seamus is first. Here we go. Seamus is in Claire's first. Let's go test some drugs. Nice. This guy already tested the drugs. Wow. Let's go test them. All right. We're not going to consume these drugs, though, because they're bad for living things. I, I guess that's most drugs, though, but Th these kind of drugs are at least bad for plants because they are going to kill all the plants in this area. And that's the hope. Manual mode, engaged. Manual mode. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. Why couldn't it be automatic mode? There was like a really easy way to do this, but I don't remember. It was seriously like, I don't know. You would like swap these over a couple times, fill it up, like swap it over a couple times, fill it up, and then like another time, and then it would be good. But I don't remember how to do it because it's been forever. So like, let's let's say I try to do it the way I'm talking about. Let's say, and if this is actually right, then no one's gonna believe that I actually did this from like forever ago. But then it was like. I don't think that would be enough. If I were to do like this right here, I don't think that would be enough. So let's like do it ag again, maybe. We're gonna, we're gonna be here for a little bit, everyone. Don't worry, because this is just gonna fill it up the rest of the way. So obviously not good enough. I really don't like these kind of puzzles because it's a puzzle, and I'm not a puzzle kind of guy, but. You know, as long as I, like, mess around with this for long enough. Let's see. So I probably need to get, like, some amount of liquid into into one of these two canisters and then divvy it up. And it basically has to go into this big one because this big one is the only one that can hold enough to actually do this. Because this one on the far right I don't think is, is big enough to hold enough liquid. So I have to somehow, like, separate a little bit of liquid out of these two and then get it into this one. But I don't know how to do that. So let's just, I don't know, let's do this. All the liquid's in this one, right? You better believe I'm going to be editing some of this bad boy out. All right, so what if I were to do, like, that? Let me try to, like do this question mark how are we looking we're not looking very good are we we're not looking very good at all what if I were to put a tiny bit in here I don't really know let's let me fill the rest of that up let's move uh, this bad boy all the way over here This is going to be all the liquid again, so that doesn't really make sense. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this again. All right, now what do I have to do from here in order to make this good? Because these both have, like, the same liquid in it, and I don't think that's good. Could, could this be it, though? Could it be it? What if I were to, like... I don't know, just drop a little bit in there. 
That's not quite good enough. Now I'm going to have all the liquid back in here. And as I thought, I will definitely be editing a good portion of this out. Have I finally done it? Have I achieved world peace? I have achieved it. I've achieved world peace. All right, so as I thought I was going to get absolutely royally screwed by this liquid puzzle. And I was right, so at least I was right. But I'm going to go ahead and chop some of that out so you don't have to see me struggle with a simple liquid puzzle. And we'll throw this trophy out of my inventory, and we'll move on with our lives. So that was fun. Hey, when I actually stopped to, like, I don't know, use my two brain cells to think for a couple seconds, it was actually uh, not the worst ever. But, you know. My brain cells don't really like to cooperate with me. So now, now I have to go back down into the basement. I don't even know what to call it. Whatever the hell this thing is, I need to go back down here and go to the, the like, cooling area of the lab. And we will go ahead and cool this liquid off and kill all the plants and continue on. And I'll get to have fun again. But as you may remember, I left all these stupid liquors down here. Or as I called them much earlier in the playthrough, quickers. Because they're quick, you know? That's how it is. They lick, they're quick. Quicker liquors. But it's not too hard to get past them because they're in good spots and there's enough, uh, there's enough area to maneuver. So we'll go ahead and jump in here. The zombie is alive, but never comes to life unless you get, like, I guess we'll see what happens when I actually chill this liquid. Also, is there, like, is there supposed to be a liquor in this, like, thing? Like, what? Because, like, anytime I come close to this, something tries to attack me, and I feel like it's very obvious, and I'm probably really stupid, but I have no clue what it is. It sounds like a liquor. To me, it sounds like a liquor. But, you know, I'm wasting time. Let's go ahead and chill this out. Let me drink some water while we're doing this. Cooling sequence in progress. Feels like my mic might be a little too loud, so I'm sorry. But I, I actually turned it down before I started recording, but it still seems, like, oddly loud. Maybe I just need to, like, move it a little bit further away. Trust me, I usually do a, a little bit of testing before I start, but that doesn't mean that Cooling everything is good. So this zombie doesn't get up, apparently. I'm not sure why he exists. The thing still is trying to attack me. You come out here. What about this zombie? This zombie never gets up, but I know she's alive. I know she's alive. Look, she's alive. 100% alive but really only gets mad if you, like, attack her. Interesting. I don't know why she never actually comes to life until you attack her. You would think, like, once you grab the solution out of that, that she would just attack you, but I guess not. I guess we'll see who the hell's in this area. If anything extra spawned. Though I did kill our friend the plant man. And all the zombies that were in here, so... I guess nothing else actually shows up. I don't even know why I came this way. I'm not sure if I needed to come this way, but we're going this way. That's for sure. Uh, things could get kind of dicey here. So I should probably take some healing items. At least one extra healing item. I've used all of my first aid sprays, I guess. So I guess I will use this for the time being just to have it on me um hopefully if i do get attacked i won't die i'm also gonna save because i did the stupid liquid puzzle and i'm kind of hurt so i'd rather not die and have to do that all over again and i do have the ink ribbons to spare so it's kind of like whatever i don't really care about my rank right now actually i'm gonna save over this one i'm not too concerned about my rank right now if people really want to see more resident evil I would probably be happy to do it 
whenever I begin trying to stream, but I kind of doubt it'll be, like, in high demand to do stuff like that. But you never know. I could always just, you know, feel like doing it and then just do it, right? So it's always a possibility. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. But for now, I got to put this liquid canister, whatever you want, a dispersal cartridge in here. So we can kill all the plants and get the upgrade Dispensing to our bracelet now. thing. This poor sap who was sent in to deal with all of this immediately died, so. So much for that weed. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been blocked, and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Yeah, I'm sure this guy's actually alive. All right, so there's that guy. Um, there's probably like another dude hanging somewhere that drops down, but uh, at the very least, I can probably aggro this guy and then knock him out. Because I'd rather just grab the the thing I need and then just, like, book it out of here. Let's see how much ammo I can waste on this guy. All right, that's already, like, five bullets. Nice. You guys know my aim is, like, really good. I wouldn't even consider my aim that bad overall, but when it comes to these plant monsters, I, I'm just terrible. I'm also not even sure, like, what really happens here, because Mr. X is, like, Mr. Fucked Up somewhere. So I think it's just plant enemies that that just land and have to get past them. But we already knocked that guy out. There's a guy over there I don't care about. I think a guy shows up in this room, maybe. Oh, shit. Yep. I was 100% <laughs> I was right. Well, at least it didn't grab me. God, I got a little scare there, though. Not, not quite a twitch scare, but I felt it in my chest. It was that, like, tense kind of, like, uh-oh, I'm about to get messed up. All right, so we have, we have that now upgraded, so we can go to the other side of the lab. I don't remember what's over. I don't think there's really anything over there. There's another boss fight that we're going to get. It's the same boss fight Leon got, so I guess we'll just head over there. Um, I know I'm going to need... What am I going to need? I'm going to need a knife, but not really. I'm going to take it just in case. I'm going to need this signal modulator. I still have two wooden boards for some reason. I guess we'll board up a window in the lab, except this place has no windows because it's 100% underground. And I guess they don't... I don't, I don't know. They could have added some windows so you could like look out and see this. I think that would be a pretty neat view, but I guess when you're spending billions and billions of dollars building this place. I guess windows aren't quite in the budget, so. Umbrella said no to windows, so unfortunately you get no windows if you work here. I'm sorry. Not like it'd be a good view anyway, but like, that'd be kind of cool to look at on occasion. You know, you just look out, you see that, and you're like, wow. Alright, back to work screwing over humanity. Nice little motivational stop there. I think this guy already has, he has a tape we've already seen, so I don't care. However, he does have a grenade that I care about. There's no zombies in this area. You know what I'm disappointed about? There used to be naked zombies in the original Resident Evil 2, and I don't think there's any naked zombies in this game. Not that I want to look at naked zombies, but I just thought they were kind of interesting that you have, like, they were generally, like, pretty tanky, too, I remember. I think they were stronger than regular zombies. You had, like, lab lickers, and you had naked zombies, and they were both stronger than their, like, regular counterparts, and I kind of missed them. I thought it was kind of interesting having, like, tougher zombies and, like, super mutated stronger zombies in the lab, but for some reason, they're just not here. I don't know. I guess Capcom said no to naked zombies, so here we are. So we need AWS before I get ahead of myself and only talk about naked zombies and people are like wow Seamus you really like naked zombies for some reason we'll just go ahead and do this puzzle before people start thinking differently of me 
There we go. This is the last time we need that. Pretty sure, so I'll just throw it on the fucking floor. Bam. Umbrella can clean that crap up. Um. This just turned on the power. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've already read Billy Birkin's inbox in Leon A, so I don't care. I don't care quite as much. I'll be reading the same documents over and over. I think I know I'm just like spinning around doing nothing, but let me go ahead and store some stuff. I know I'm probably gonna need some inventory space here, so I guess I guess I'll toss some stuff for now. I know there's some some supplies here and there. There's a blue herb that would be good. Nice blue herb. Is there really something still in this area? There's got to be something. Maybe it's just the, uh... What would it be? Maybe it was the videotape? I guess, I guess I can pick up the videotape. And see if that was it. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this videotape in my item box so I can watch it later. When I'm escaping. Be something nice to watch with Sherry. Um, and unfortunately I don't have a green-red herb combo. I can take this out and combine that. That's a, I think that's about the best I can do. I don't think I have. Did I have a green red herb combo? I think I did, and it just wasn't organized. Yeah, I actually did. Whoops. All right, we don't talk about that one. I highly doubt it's going to screw me over anyway because I have a bunch of healing items, but I guess I did have one, and it just wasn't organized because I think I had just put it in the box. So that's uh, quite unfortunate, but, you know... Live and learn, I guess. Maybe I'll find... I'll probably find another red herb at some point. Maybe not. Research diary. I think we've already read this as well. I'm pretty sure we've read that. That's the antiviral stuff for Sherry, I think. What else we got in here? Oh, there's a red herb right there. Cool. So I get to fix one of my mistakes. More ink ribbons, one ink ribbon, fatty gunpowder. Nice fatty gunpowder there. All right. So I'm going to take, yeah, I can take like, let me store that. Organize just in case. All right, I need this. So I fix one of my mistakes. Bam. Nice. I probably actually will save, so I don't know why I put that in. I guess to organize. What am I what am I looking at here? I only have one white gunpowder, but I do have a fatty gunpowder. So I could make a bunch of acid rounds. I can make oh, I actually do have two fat I do have two white gunpowders actually. I'm not paying attention to my own inventory. Do I want to make SMG ammo or do I want to make more acid rounds? I already have like 20 something acid rounds, but I could make more. And that could be good. Because I don't really know I'm going to need the SMG ammo. So I think I'm going to make more acid rounds for the time being. I could make even more acid rounds if I wanted. I think for now I'm just going to store. I'm just going to keep this because I know there's more stuff later. I need to take this out. I should probably take even more acid rounds out and really lay it on thick. I'm going to need this, right? Yeah, the fake magnum. I have this. This is looking pretty good for this boss fight. This is probably enough, maybe. It's, it's going to be my luck that Billy Birkin is, like, immune to acid rounds or something. So it's going to be, like, a waste, but... I think this is looking okay. I'm kind of concerned about the healing. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the healing. Um, I may just store that. Actually, I can take out these nades. These nades would possibly be good. Or I can save them. Because I know there's some more boss fights after this. This isn't the final boss fight. Flash grenades, that could be good. I have a lot of stuff that could be good, but I just don't have, like, the inventory to carry it. 
I just really don't have the inventory to carry it right now. I guess I'll take another one of these. This is probably about good. There's also more supplies in the room. And I guess I'll take an ink ribbon out and save. Just in case I get messed up in this boss fight, which is definitely a possibility. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull out another one of those. Alright, so the room is basically looted. Uh, I probably need another inventory spot for this virus, though. This antivirus, right? Um, uh, it, you're supposed to be able to open this, but it's like, I don't know how to open it. But then you're like, oh, I don't have the item to open it. I guess I missed something. But wait. But wait. There's something we have. Damn it. Claire, remember. What could possibly go in that little hole? Oh, Sherry's locket. Good thinking, Claire. Hell yeah. You're so damn smart. Got it. Well, I hope I don't need an inventory spot for that. Thank God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. And coincidentally, I think there's one left for Leon, but I guess it doesn't take up an inventory spot, so that's good. Huh, to be honest, I kinda wanna go into this at full health. I kind of do. There is this first aid spray I could use. I could also use these two herbs. But if I find extra herbs, I want to be able to combine these. So, like, maybe I'll just use a first aid spray and say, screw it. I should have more than enough healing items to last me. Like, even if things go terribly wrong, I should have enough healing items to last me until the end of the game. That really shouldn't be an issue. 